making some mulled wine. Um, I feel like it's the perfect winter treat. Daddy, we're gentle, we're gentle with, with the pets. Yeah, just get out of there, Nora. Just, just get out of there. Just so you bring this to just before a boil. You don't want it to boil because you don't want to boil off any of the alcohol. <clears throat> Once it gets to just before a boil, you reduce the heat, cover it, and you let it simmer for, you know, up 15 minutes up to hours if you want, but, you know, we're gonna be impatient. We're gonna drink it after 15 minutes, right? <laughs> Turn it on. Mulled wine. Hopefully, it turns out well because sometimes it can be super bitter. Mm, I have to. Uh... That is amazing. It tastes like Christmas in a glass. This is my Bluetti EB3A, and uh, I'm just gonna charge up some of my uh, camera batteries. Today I'm just gonna charge these two batteries, and I pop a GoPro battery in there too. Just pop that in there. This has uh, two USB ports, a USB-C port, which is 100 watts, um, and it's got uh, two AC ports, a 12 volt DC output. Um, it's just, you know, it's awesome. It's, it's even got a flashlight on it. It's even got a wireless charging station on the top where I could just put my phone right on the top and it'll charge. You can see uh, how much power there is left. You can see the output in watts. So, a lot of cool stuff going for it. Buddy, come here, please. Maybe. Like last time. Gonna go, so we're gonna go slow. Well, the snowmobile, if the snowmobile tips, the toboggan's not gonna tip. Right.
This is our snowmobile trailer toboggan. And this is our jogger chariot. And if you see here, the jogger chariot has been tightly cinch strapped and tied in. A ratchet strap holding that down, plus it's all tied off to the toboggan. Look at that. Solid. And they got a windshield uh, because this thing is like a tent. Plus, it's all aluminum frame. It's even like a roll bar. It's probably safer than being on the snowmobile. Hey, bud. What do you think? You gonna go on the snowmobile? Hey? I'm going to snowmobile? Yeah! Do the Halliburton Forest uh, Trail routes, right? Yeah. So we're here. So this is an actual snowmobiling, like Ontario snowmobiling trail, um, here on the lake. But it connects up. To these red lines are the uh, snowmobile trails in Halliburton Forest. So if if we just take hop, connect with the trail here, take it all the way up. We can get on into the trails and then we can just do like a big loop. I don't know how long that would take us, but we can stop for lunch. Okay. Um, Where are we right now? So we're right here. Okay. We just have to riff across this lake here, little redstone. But we can do a loop up here. So like we can go up, yeah. around here, down, and then back, and then down. Okay. It'll just be this part that we're doing again. How are the kiddos doing? Good. They're sleeping. Hey kiddos.
taking a little break here and uh you know it took some figuring because we didn't know how to get onto the trail system we were on this road we didn't want to ride on the road all the way to the point to where we knew the trail started from so we were like oh should we turn back and this and that but anyway sure enough we found a, a way out onto the lake and it was beautiful and we rid on this narrow little trail went up and down through some old growth hemlock and uh we're on our way back now so we got about maybe 4k back to the cabin but uh fun day out on the trails and um our little kid carrier uh, toboggan here has worked out amazing hasn't it yeah it's been great yeah yeah this is kind of our first run with the whole family on the one snowmobile and it was pretty cramped at, at dark on the way in <sighs> Uh -oh. So we weren't looking too forward to doing that for you know a long time on the trails and this little contraption we whipped up is amazing but we better check on the kiddos. Putty is already mad that we've stopped. So. Yeah. Hey, how are you two suspicious types doing in here, huh? How are you doing? Leslie, you like the snowmobile? You want to go? They're doing really good. Are these having fun? Okay, we'll get moving. We're almost back. They're perfect in there. Perfect. North has been riding in here, but I think he wants to run the rest of the way back. He, he ran a, a good little, little bit. yeah. Lake. He ran for, on the lake for a little, a little bit, but then we put him back in because we didn't want to, he was, he was a little too slow. <laughs> okay, North, go on. Go on. Okay. Good, Good boy. All right, Tori's going to drive now. I wish I could be riding back here. What was your favorite part of the day? Driving myself. Oh, that one last little yeah. bit. Honestly, I think one of my favorite parts was just chilling, man. That two-up seat really is beauty. It's really comfortable back there. Really yeah. comfy. Really, I don't. You don't have to hold on. You just lean back. It's like I wasn't holding on the whole time. No, that's ballsy. I mean, unless we're going over like crazy bumps, which we didn't do any of that. Uh, these kids did great. Awesome. Wesley, here you go. you're so cute. Don't okay. worry, we're gonna go again tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go tomorrow. Aww. <laughs> we'll go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow, bud. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on it. Okay. Huddy's very sad that the snowmobiling is over. So we're gonna let him sit on the snowmobile. Oh, Dad. Okay. okay, temper tantrum boy. Snowmobiling was over and he started having a meltdown. He's devastated. 
I think all in all that was a success. Uh, you know, a couple unknowns, but we learned the area a little bit better and learned how to access the trail system from the cabin. Um, you have to kind of basically drive back past where we parked the truck, then onto a road for a little ways, but there's a lot of snow on the road, so not far enough to worry about overheating and then we just got onto a lake and then on the trail system and my favorite part was sort of the part that was a narrower trail and some ups and downs and beautiful uh, hemlock forests and stuff like that it was really cool and the kid toboggan thing with the jogger chariot in it worked out amazingly well and Huddy had so much fun that he burst into tears when the day was over but um, yeah we're going to uh, enjoy the evening have another bonfire and just hang out. I might get out uh, and do some fishing, um, you know, maybe an hour before dark. We ate lunch just sort of on the trail today. We never filmed it, but um, I think we all had a great day. How are you, you going to get down? Yeah. Are you exploring? I did not need these snowmobile pants nope. on, that's for sure. Were you hot out there or were you good? No, I was good out there. Oh, that's nice. So. He likes the fire. Hi. 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 north chasing after some trout i figured i should get maybe solid 45 minutes of fishing in before going back for dinner i'm um, gonna go for uh brook trout again and uh i'm gonna try near this down tree see if we have any luck different spot than last time but um you know we caught one but later in the evening it was pretty slow so i figured maybe try somewhere else Growth about seven feet deep here. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah! A little trout, baby. A little trout. Look at that, isn't that a beauty? I got the fish up into the hole and it got free and I managed to scoop down in the hole and throw it out, which is exciting. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Looks like North's given up on me. He's heading back. Oh, well, I guess that's about it. I'm happy with the, uh, the small trout. Maybe I'll take it back for a little hors d'oeuvre. Um, we're having uh, moose burritos tonight. Yum. And I feel pretty good. I caught a fish. Tori caught a fish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah! This is all you. I mean, I pulled it in, but. That was electrifying. So maybe I'll just pull my lines and head back and uh, hang out with the fam. But uh, yeah, it's been worth coming out. That was an exciting little bit of action there. It looks like North didn't give up on me. There he is, coming to see where, how I'm doing. What a good boy. Coming to check in on his pack. Good boy!
We're having moose burritos, Eddie. We're living off the land. Alright, hon. spot for my morning coffee with all the low windows I can see into the beautiful forest and out to the lake looks like we have a beautiful and chilly morning here at the cabin it's probably about minus 20 outside and we want to be out of here and back on the trail before noon as nice it is now there's an ice storm on the way and uh, we're not too excited to be driving in that. So um, we're going to try to move out of here relatively quickly. Um, and so t this morning we're just going to have oatmeal for breakfast. Of course, we're going to have our coffees. And just more or less pack up and uh, get the uh, snowmobile loaded, get the kids loaded onto it, the uh, toboggan all packed. So it's going to take us a bit of time to get out of here and get fully on our way by the time we load up the snowmobile and all that kind of stuff. North, what's this? What's this? You wanna go for a ride? No, we gotta get your helmet on. You're going on the next trip, bud. You're going on the next trip. Um, Tori's got the kiddos ready. Do you wanna take the kids first or are you gonna hang out outside with them? I'm gonna hang out outside with them. Okay, we got about a 4K rip back to the truck, so I'm gonna go take the first load. 
Uh, Tori's gonna watch the kids. North will probably run after me. And um, then I'm gonna come back and load the rest of the stuff, pick up Tori and the kids and go. But we got a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, probably the best day yet, of course. Sadly, that's when we're leaving, but um, that's okay. We'll enjoy the ride out. So there's still a bit of an adventure left to go. How did it go in there with the kids? Good, I swapped everything up. It's clean in there and so I locked it up. It's done. Sweet, all yeah. right. Fine, huh? Pretty fun uh, thing. Want to put it upside down? Yeah. Are you sleeping? Well, there we are. Nice little ride all the way back to the truck. Tori took over about halfway. Huddy fell asleep on the snowmobile and then cried again when we had to take him off. He seems to like cry when his snowmobile rides are over. But we've tucked them in the truck, they're napping. I got the sled loaded up onto the trailer and another great little adventure in the wraps. Uh, awesome, awesome stay. If you're interested in staying in one of these uh, off-grid tiny cabins, these ones are nestled into the Halliburton Forest. Check out Cabinscape. They have different cabins like this in different areas and uh, highly recommend it. Great little getaway, nice, quiet, peaceful. You get to be out there in nature and have uh, everything you need essentially in this awesome little cabin. Um, we really enjoyed ourselves out there got up to a bunch of different activities between fishing and snowshoeing and snowmobiling checking out the trails etc uh, etc et enjoying the cabin and also just enjoying a nice bonfire uh, right out in front of the cabin as well the kids loved it super comfy got some great sleeps and uh, now we're basically packing up and heading home and we're looking forward to the next adventure